And when it comes to overtaking, it's an interesting uh, scenario. It's something we should discuss. Whereas, in my opinion, Nigel's a bit close to that car in front. When you've got a motorbike you've, of any engine size that's, I don't know, three or four hundred cc upwards, you've got plenty of power. So you can actually hang back and have a good view of the road in that situation. And rather than having to swing out like he has done there to get past, you can actually drop back like I've done here. And I've got a more of a, a view of the road. I can look down his inside from this point. Not too close. I know it's not safe. If you find yourself wanting to get past vehicles and trucks especially as well, don't get right up their asses. You don't need to, you can hang back. You've got enough power to get back that past that or car or whatever in no time at all. And it's much safer to sit back at a position like this. Position yourself where you get a good view beyond them. A slight left on bendy and I can see down the inside there. If I'm right up its arse and it's a truck for example, I've no chance. At this point I've got a good view of the road. I'm going to check the mirrors, I can get out and have a look, and then go. So let's look at a basic overtake in a straight road. I've done this diagram on my computer, I'm very proud of myself. Right, what we've got? Straight road, broken white lines. Target vehicle is your black one there. Look, I've put little headlights on, little tail lights on it. You've got this direction, we're heading northwesterly if you like. This is the bike, we'll call it a JSXR for argument's sake because it's Suzuki blue or is it Yamaha blue, either way. No other vehicles about, this is a basic overtake like I said. Now I'm going to put a link on one of them info cards. By all means have a look at that link and that's a video which I saw, I stumbled across it and it's in my opinion what not to do. It's a couple of guys doing some overtaking manoeuvres which are called advanced. I don't like it. I think it's not the best example of, a, of overtaking that you could be using. Go and have a look at it. By all means, do that, but come back and get my opinion on here. Now, I come from an era before we had LAMS approved bikes and power to weight ratios allowing us to use more powerful bikes. I had a 10 brake horsepower GP100 when I was 17. And if I wanted to overtake a car doing 50, I soon learned that I had to start my overtaking manoeuvres back here. And I had to start building my speed up and my momentum. And I had to start reading the road from back here, getting close from the inside, from positioning myself here, or in any of these five positions here, to have a look beyond the cars in front. If I was up its ass of a truck or a car, the chance of being able to see beyond minimal. If I'm back here, at this point, or even here, and I can see it's safe to do so, there's nothing to stop me edging out to that side of the road and having a look, seeing if there's any cars coming, taking into consideration junctions and dips in the road where the other cars could be coming towards me. But I could start building my speed up, and there's nothing to say, just because I've got all the power in the world on a bigger motorbike now, that I can't use these same tactics. It's a far safer option than starting an acceleration and an overtake using a short arc around a car like that. There's nothing to say I can't use an arc from here a lot longer, a lot quicker, a lot faster and clearing the car much safer from a lot, lot further back, back here. Position yourself out here if you can see the road. Obviously you've checked behind you but if you're just edging out at this point getting a view of the road, start your acceleration Get up to speed. By this point, you want to be at your, at your speed where you're comfortable to get beyond the target vehicle. As you can see there, I'm flashing my headlight, my, my eye beam, to let the guy know I'm coming. If he thinks it's aggressive, I don't care, as long as he's seen you. Flash the headlights, let him know you're coming, get up to speed, give him a good bit of space, overtake, and then you come. Don't cut his nose off, because all that's going to do is wind him up. And if you've I find you got to this stage here and you're having to come in because there's a car coming in the other direction you shouldn't have been overtaken in the first place it wasn't a safe time to overtake you should have spotted any cars by that stage what you've got to do 
is make sure you've got enough space to come in nice and smooth at the, tra the trajectory, put my teeth in, as the green arrow. Box ticked, as you can see, I've put a tick there. That's the sort of overtaking that I am more comfortable doing. And the sort of overtaking that I was forced to do as a young rider because my bike wasn't quick enough. But it taught me the reading of roads. It taught me momentum. It taught me safe overtaking. It's the way forward. Little tip, when you've gone past somebody, Give him a hand, give him a wave, thumbs up, hello. One thing that'll do, he'll think you're his mate. Another thing it'll do, might stop him uploading his footage and sending it to the cops because you were doing 20 k's over. I'm not advocating speeding to overtake cars, but I'm advocating getting home safe. I'm advocating getting on your way with the minimum of danger. You want to get across your threshold of your house door when you get home, okay? If you speed, it's up to you. But an overtaking manoeuvre, or any manoeuvre for me, needs to be done deliberately. And it needs to be done with the minimum of fuss. And for me, if I have to do 20 k's an hour over the speed limit to get an overtake clean and safe, I'll do it. And I'll take a speeding fine. Any time over taking a, a collision. So consider them points. Prepare your overtake 30, 40 metres behind your target vehicle. Get out on the opposite side of the road when it's safe to do so. Keep an eye on what's happening behind you and build your momentum. And I don't care whether you're riding an R1 or whatever. It's a safer way to get past vehicles. They'll see you in your mirrors better. Give them the eye beam, give them a wave and get on your way.